Peace, peace, peace. This is your humble hip hop sales coach, Tiger Toledo. And you already know what it is, man. Y'all heard? <laughs> that was my daughter in the background there, man. Hey, wanted to say happy holidays to everybody. Yes, the 4th of July is right around the corner. I want you guys to party safe. Enjoy your holidays. Travel. Go out with the fam. Do what you got to do. Enjoy yourself, you know? Enjoy yourself with the family and all that. So, real quick, wanted to make a quick sales video about uh, finding the customer's hot spot. The hot spot is the sweet spot, baby. The hot spot is the sweet spot. So check it. Um, what you want to do when you're finding the customer's hot spot, the hot spot is basically that trigger point that is controlling the customer from doing, um, taking action and moving things forward. For instance, when I sold uh, health club memberships, people hot spot used to be, I want to get back into shape um, like when I was in high school. Okay, so I would ask probing questions like, what did you do in high school that you're not doing now, right? They'll say, well, I used to play a lot of sports. I used to be into football. Um, now, the way you would take that hotspot and convert it, convert it into a thumb screw, you would ask the customer, um, well, how did you feel when you were at, were at the best shape of your life? How did you feel? And then they'll, you'll literally see them go into a trance and then transport themselves and like, wow, I felt great. Uh, my clothes fit well. I, I, I had a lot more confidence. Um, you know, I was able to do a lot more things. So what you're doing, you're taking that hot spot. You're asking probing questions and you're finding what that trigger point, what brought them into your facility? Why did they make the call to your business? What is it that they want? And once you get a hold of that, hot spot which I call a sweet spot of the customer you lock onto it like a like a pit bull what's up hermano you lock onto it like a pit bull you got to be like a shark that smells blood and you lock in right so again I'll explain hot spot to you guys the the hot spot is whatever triggers the customer into taking massive action there it could it could be something that just happened a week ago it could be something that happened five years ago ten years ago so whatever you're selling you have to figure out why is it that they're taking that action so you're gonna have to ask probing questions right ask probing questions like again I'll give you an example in the health club industry someone comes into the health club they say I want to lose weight I want to gain my energy level back I want to um, uh, shape and tone and sculpt and then you know put on some lean muscle okay have you ever been in that that shape before yeah I have all right how old were you uh, pay attention to the questions how old were you when you were in the best shape of your life well I was 17 years old what were you doing at the age of 17 that you're not doing now right a great salesperson doesn't have to keep speaking all the time he asks specific questions, probing questions that is going to enable him to make an even better sale, right? So you say, what were you doing at the age of 17 that you're not doing now? Then they'll go into, well, I used to work out. I used to be on a treadmill. I worked out a bit like three, four times a week. I was on um, playing basketball. You know, I was on the league or I played football or whatever it was. I was on track. Okay, so what do you not do now? Well, I'm not doing any of that stuff now. Okay, so you know that the person wants to get back into the best shape of their life, which was the age of 17. Hold on to it, lock on to it. Now use that to create value in your product and show them that your product can get them into the best shape of their life. Whether it's, you know, selling cars. Excuse the plane right now. Beautiful day today, beautiful day. So, you know, you want you want to whether you're selling a car. When did you buy your first car? How did you feel when you bought your first car? Well, I was 21 years old. I couldn't I was excited. I got my first Pontiac Grand Dam GT, you know? And then now you're you're transporting them to that area. Well, how does it feel now buying your your next car what what did you like about that car that Pontiac GT Grand Am 
Not, the customer will tell you, the customer will tell you what they want you to sell them on. You understand? The customer will tell you exactly what they want. The problem is a lot of salespeople want to give what they want to the, to, to the customer. Like, nah, you're, forget about that. Buy this instead. You're selling them what you want to sell them instead of giving them what they're asking for. If your product cannot deliver, tell them, you know what, I don't, I don't have what you're looking for. You might want to, you know, maybe I know somebody, give him a call. He can give you exactly what you're looking for. Don't be afraid of giving a person a referral to somebody else. Because at the end of the day, because you made that customer happy, they may send you a referral, be like, this guy was real cool. He couldn't, he couldn't sell me on the product that I wanted, but he referred me to somebody that could. And since you're in the market for looking for this vehicle, this car, this service, this product, give him a call. And that person will be able to help you out. So remember, look for the customer's hotspot. Once you lock on to the hotspot, grab it like a shark, grab it like a pit bull, and never let it go and then now implement your product or service to fulfill that hotspot need which turns that hotspot into a sweet spot baby this is your humble hip-hop sales coach tiger toledo you already know what it is man one love peace and happiness to you and your friends and happy holidays you heard <laughs>